I just got this new package um, from Amazon here. Uh, they're miniatures to a game called Corpus Belly Infinity, which is a skirmish sci-fi theme game. You, where you, unlike regular other miniature games where you have whole sweeping armies across a huge table, this is a small handful of miniatures, and you go into small skirmish battles. So, one of the ones I got is Yojimbo of the mercenary fac you know, faction. Um, the miniatures I got are the Japanese based theme. You got the small one, the faction is called the Yujing, which is Asian based, Chinese, Korean, Japanese. I chose the Japanese looking ones because, well, I think they look cool. So, and but you do have some that are you know, mercenaries, which can be hired by anyone, and some of them are obviously from the Yujing faction. So, this, uh, this miniature, it just comes with all that you see here. You have Yojimbo on his bike. Two robotic koalas, I don't know how they work, I never thoroughly looked at the rules. And you got him on foot, so you could choose in between. And I open up the box, and, uh, well, let's see what he comes with. Uh, here he is. That's him on foot, you just need to glue his arm on with a sword, and, you know, slide into his base. The one beef I have with Infinity so far, with my experience of him, is that they give you filled in bases. Okay, that, I understand it to some degree. Some people decorate the bases and so you don't want holes in it because you got to fill those in. But the opposite is where I now have to drill in just so I can slide this guy in to give more security. But I have a round, big round base for the bike, which as you can see. Um, and this comes with one additional piece where you have to glue this to the side. Very slick, futuristic, Tron-like bike. And you got two little Ziploc bags. One contains his torso and an upper half for the, um, the bike. And you got the robot koalas. And you have the weapons and such in the other bag for both the on foot and the bike as well. So, there's that one. The next box set is uh, Dumari, uh, Dumaru, Dumaru Butai. Uh, I got these as sort of somewhat shock. I'm not shock troops, but just regular soldiers. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's exactly what they are. Um, you got two of them um, with hand weapons, and you got two of them with firearms. But again, never look. So sorry if I'm being incorrect on some of this information, because again, I never played this. I just saw a couple guys play it on the shop. I was wearing it for a while, and I just uh, I just like the theme of these. So let's see. In the box set, you got four bodies. Um, Two or you know, you have two of the same thing. <clears throat> you, have, you have two of these and two of the other. You know, it looks like big, robust male bodies, and these are female bodies. And of course, in the Ziploc bags, you have the head, the arms, and the fire weapon, firearms to attach to it. So, I will put these together later, so I'll show you what they look like afterwards. But after that, we are now going to the blister packs I got. The first one. Let's see. Dumaru Takeshi Niko Oyama. I believe this is a leader type. At least you can have him as a lieutenant. And let's see. His weapon is a um, armor-piercing close combat weapon. Explosive, con you know, close combat weapon. How those all work, I am not sure. But you got this guy right here. That's the card. On the back, you can see the miniature himself. <coughs> Both with um, one of the swords drawn, and he also has a scabbard with the second sword in. Again, I just love the Japanese look about him. The next one um, are almost two of the same thing. One's male, one female. Um, we'll go with the male one first. The Oniwaban, a specialized um, ninja. Just like the look at him and everything. You know, I also now before I got all these this batch that you're seeing here, this video, I already collected the Musashi Miyamoto mercenary, and I just love the results of how that turned out. So you can see it in my last video about um, miniatures. So, yep, there he is, and he got a female equivalent. Let's see. Oniwaban Shinobu Kitsune. As you can see here. Now, it mentions here a double um, arm option. I guess you have two options of where it looks like once she's drawing a sword as she's running, the other one of the swords already drawn out. So, I got a little bit of an option. There she is. I'll put these all together, as I said, so um, you can see what they're like. Now, the third one I definitely like. Seito Togan. And, um, just, you know, again, this is a mercenary, but he has that Japanese look, so it's fitting to, um, put him into, into the, um, Eugene. But he's mercenary, so I, from my understanding, he can fit in any 
faction that will pay the cost, except for a couple of them. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, this is how he's posed. You know, you, he's on the base. You know, you, he's in a he has in a kick formation. Looks like you gotta put them all together like that. All right, but oh yes, twelve ninety nine. Now, roughly average out, these miniatures cost about 10 bucks a piece, give or take, depending on the miniature you get. But since it's skirmish, you're not paying um, hundreds of dollars to fill a whole army's worth. Like, you want to see how expensive this gets. Look up Games Workshop and try and build a decent sized army of, um, of any one you want, and the you know, price goes up incredibly. This, I think, a lot of people are going to because. You know they don't need that many miniatures so even though these are 10 bucks a piece i remember when i was grabbing a, a miniature for 250 back in the day Whew. and back in the 90s but either way you know that's that's life things go up and this one well this may cost 12 about 13 bucks or others may cost around 10. um you don't need that many miniatures so it won't cost you as much and you could download the entire rule book for free on their website so you could get an actual hard copy of that and carry it with you, or you could carry a PDF of the, the exact same rules. So I think that's neat. So, okay, let's put these all together and see what we got. Okay, after a couple of days of putting them together, they were a bit more of a pain than I thought, I finally did it. And we'll show them off. First, we'll show off the little guys here. <clears throat> these come with the Yojimbo character. I don't know what they are. I have yet to go through the rules and see what they're about, but there's two of them. As you can see, little robot koala like creatures you know, or machines there. And uh, I'm sure they serve, serve uh, equipment use here. But um, nah, not what I came for. They just came with the Yojimbo character. And uh, we'll save that one for a bit. Now, for the Damaro Butai, the five pack, I'm sorry, four pack, um, they came out okay. I will have to admit, as putting these things together has shown, um, there's a lot of flash, little extra pieces I had to grind down and such. So, this one, and not to mention the poses they are, and since it's still winter time, it can be a little bit chilly, and that super glue doesn't hold that well. But when it does, it does a very nice job. Here's one of them, two um, has a um, single um, katana. Alright, the next one. <coughs> Has, I believe, with you know, a type of shotgun. At least according to the box, anyway. And by the way, that the one before and this one here are female bodies. And then the two male ones. Well, we got one right here. Also with a ranged weapon of some kind. He's also equipped with samurai swords. I just like the samurai theme of these. Now, I've noticed some of his box set. Um, this backpack right here, they only gave me one that fits this model. So I had to do a makeshift one with this guy. Well, here he's got two, um, you know, he has two close combat weapons. And as you can see, I am not very skilled with the green stuff, but at first glance, not as noticeable. So that's what I just got done doing. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think it will suffice. I was originally just going to do uh, like a flat uh, back plates there sectional like you see in some of the models. But after a careful thing about it, you know, I was able to work up the courage and to do this. So that's the thing. It's not the best design. But uh, it'll work for my purposes. You know, just paint him up and see. And, you know, and it could have been worse. I mean, I could have just used Games Workshop backpack. Thing would have stood out. <laughs> so I didn't go that route. I decided to make one of my own. Let's go to the characters. Alright, so um let's go with the um Oniwaban, however that's pronounced. Nice ninja like character. Great stance. I love the poses that they put these characters in. <clears throat> like ready for action, all that. So yeah, there's that, and then we got the female. Char um, character Oniwaban Shinobu Kitsune. Now, this when you buy this model, this has two different arms. On her left arm, you have one with the same with the sword drawn out, as shown. There's also another one where the arm positioned where it looks like she's drawing the sword, just now starting to draw the blade out. She so you see her, she's running and she's about to you know 
un, you know, unsheathe their sword ready to strike, like you see in ninjas or samurai um, do. Okay, so the next one, well, we'll go with um, Damaro Takeshi Niko Oyama. Quite a long name. I just thought it looked like a very cool miniature here. He is holding his sword just way on the end, end of that handle. And usually you would figure his hand would be further up. But very nice. And we'll go ahead and show off your Jimbo. He's a mercenary character. So, he, but he can be hired for anyone except for a couple of factions. So yes, he makes a he blends in quite nicely to the Yu Ching faction. And we simply got a, got a gun out. That's a scabbard right here. And he carries a very long sword. <laughs> but that that one, as cool as it is, not near as impressive to the SA. Him on his bike. <clears throat> I gotta admit, it was a pain to put this one together. And I may have to do a tad bit of filing here. As you can see from the little shading there, I did get that a little bit. Because again, one of the problems is this, this had like four parts of extra flash, two thick ones. So I had to clip them off and then I have to file them down. And it's not perfect because I'm, as you can see, this is, you know, got a little groove here where I filed it at a wrong angle. But on one side, it's not so bad. But this one, I need to eventually just get a little file and just shave that down a little bit for a primer. It. The bike looks awesome. <laughs> and of course, a friend of mine, you know, obviously pointed out that it looks like one of the bikes in the movie Tron due to the wheels. But very nice. I like it. So, and the last one I think is probably the most you know one of the coolest pose. Seto Togan. You know, one of the mercenaries. Just a nice, you know, action pose there. Got a good kick. Got sword to the side. This one does have an additional piece that comes off its shoulder. And I thought about putting it down. It has a groove. You can't see it here. So, but apparently, it's like an additional um, um, spike that comes out of it. Here, let me show the card. See this part right here, right underneath this hair? There's that piece that just sticks out, and I guess it's a little bit of decoration, but it just looks so, but when you see the miniature itself, it's so small, the joint is not very, um, I just don't, I just didn't see the point of applying to it, so I took it out, but, but yeah, I just, just lo looked at this and thought, just gotta have this one. So there you go. There's a selection of Corvus Belly Infinity miniatures that I got of the Yu Ching faction, particularly the uh, Japanese Sectorial Army. I don't know if I'll extend this a bit. Um, I'll have to see. Maybe I'll find something up in the Games HQ or order online. But I'm pretty satisfied with the models, all pain as it is to build. It took me about three nights, you know, off and on just to get them together and to glue them on a stick, you know, in a few minutes. You know, works easier during warm temperatures. But there you go. Thank you all for watching, and maybe this will inspire you to collect some for yourself. Y'all have a nice day.